We are headed from Manio to Coin Job. Got gas, almost lost the engine on the dinghy. That was fun, we saved that. What are you doing? Looking at the ICW guide. <laughs> planning our trip planning for our tomorrow? Yes, planning our trip. Back. Back to the future. Are you naked? Mm. No. <laughs> Check. Sometimes. Sometimes we don't know. According to this guide, like many waterways on North Carolina's inside route, this area has no tide, but the wind affects currents and water levels, which may affect bridge clearance heights. That's what we need to know. That's why you're doing what you're doing. There are 15 bridges. If we go on a Saturday or a Sunday, it'll be easier to get in because the openings during the week. Well, I don't know. Some of them don't say weekdays. Some of them, maybe it is still a, a time thing. We uh, had a narrow channel again. In order to get off the fuel dock, I had some problems with that, but I wanted to back off the fuel dock. So I tied up the dinghy close to the to the stern of the boat. Um, so that one side was here and one side was here. And I was pretty aggressive about backing up and going forward. I think that's when it happened. I'm not really sure. Because the wind was blowing me around in the fuel dock. It took a little bit to get off out of there. And then once we got underway, we noticed that the dinghy was not totally upside down, but it was like vertical. Pontoon was up here, pontoon was sitting in the water, and the engine was, I hope, resting on the transom. It didn't look like it was in the water. I was like, oh, how am I going to get the boat flipped back over? But we did. Mary Beth pulled from underneath. I had a line through there, and I lifted it and kind of pushed it. But we got it over. So um, now we're just in kind of nice, calm, cool, nice, nice breeze, well knots. Motor sailing in about a depth of 11 feet, which is comfortable to me. Not six, seven, not even five. And we're just um, heading across the Rural Sound. I can't pronounce it. The Rural Sound. The Albemarle Sound. Sound. Some new friends we met who said, All you do is just make believe you got marbles in your mouth. I just say, Albemarle Sound. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out perfect. So yeah, it's pretty out here, which is really, really shallow. We're just enjoying the ride, cruising around about five knots. So just like last time, we have to stay in the channel because it is narrow. It's not as narrow on both sides as it was back there, where we grounded the boat. We were told to pay attention to the buoys and to not take shortcuts in this little area. So we're not, even though if we did a diagonal, it would be much faster. We are not doing, we grounded the boat in Nanteo five times. <laughs> five times getting there, once while we were in town and once coming out of it. So we don't want to do it anymore. So we're paying attention. Well, you're on the boat. Yeah. Mm. Okay. As long as you don't hit anything hard. Well, we don't know if it's going to be hard or not. <laughs> I'm going to put the other the head sail out. We're just going to reef. Reefing means to have, I guess, the sail out, not, not in full. We can only have a like, partial part of the sail exposed to the wind, not all of it. Beautiful day sailing the Albemarle Sound, heading up to Coin Jock, up against the north wind. Against the wind. <laughs> We're running against the wind. Against the wind. Let the seagulls fly. Against the wind. Running against the wind and looking for ninja pots, as they call them. It's uh, all about not hitting lobster pots in the northeast. Down here in the southeast, it's all about these crab pots that are everywhere. I guess they coined them ninja pots. Most of them are painted black.
love is our guiding star We go with the flow We go with the flow